There is two kinds of 3D views are supported in a Revit, orthographic and perspective. The default 3D views is orthographic, whereas the camera and the work draw views are in a perspective. You can right click, for example, the view cube and select the perspective or orthographic option. Orthographic views will always show parallel edge along Cartesian X, Y, Z axis. Orthographic views are best if you need to show the model information to scale. Many people do not realize that it is possible to dimension and detail inside 3D orthographic views. Just by locking the view and you can dimension and tag elements inside the 3D views. The other hand, create a camera views by placing a start point and end point of a camera typically from floor plan or ceiling plan. The first point always select the, in a plan view is the point from which the view will be taken. And the second point is also the rotation origin for, for the view. There is, this is important, bear in mind, because if you select the second point that is far beyond the view, when you open the view, attempt to modify it, it will rotate around the target that doesn't seem to make sense. Okay? That's because the target location of the view is off in the distance. A perspective view will not be to scale. That's important. Not be to scale, but it can be made relatively larger or smaller. Once you do this, you will have the option to change the view size and the field of a view. Let's see how it works in a live demo. Now I have this 3D view here. If for example, like I explained in the beginning of this video, I can go here in the view cube and you see what I have selected here, orthographic view. Like for example, if I want like uh, to just uh, focus on a smaller range here in this 3D view, I can come here to view control bar here and I highlight here the crop region. You see the crop region here? I can highlight that. And what I want to do here, I just like go for a smaller range here, just to show you how you can dimension an orthographic view, 3D view orthographic. Here, for example, you see, I can here say crop view, okay? Now it's cropped, okay? Now, if I want to, for example, add annotation in this 3D view, I go to annotation and I go here to tag, for example, and ori orientation of the view, 3D view must be locked. You see here how to do that? I come here in view control bar and I save orientation and lock view. Now, if I want to tag, for example, like I chose for tag, just example, a window and a door. Okay. Now you see I have this tag, but I control Z and I come to tag by category here. Okay. And I select here this window. Et voila. You see here, now we can tag in a 3D view. Another important stuff that we, uh, that we noticed in the beginning of this uh, video is here, the scale. Okay, we can here, you see here that orthographic view, we can scale here, for example, just uh, 100, 150, or even 125, okay? The other hand, what we see for the uh, perspective view, for example, I have already this here. I have this view already created. This is a camera view. But for example, if I want to adjust here the range, I must select, I can adjust it like from here, but I want to see the camera. This is important, okay? I just go here. I now I place the camera in the first floor here. And I go, for example, just to do a mosaic or a tile. I go to view here and I do a tile view. I don't need that view, for example, that view also, and that one, okay? I just focus on both these views. Okay, now if I go here and select that view, you see here the camera, okay? This is the camera here, and I can, for example, adjust here 
the view of the camera. If I go here, you see I can adjust here the camera which I want to, to see inside this kitchen. Let's see how it's worked from the beginning. Like I go to that floor, okay, I just close this one and I will do here for this range inside here, I want to do a camera view, okay? I go to view here and I go and I go to camera here, okay? And I will select the point, the first point and the second point here, okay? And now you see I have this view. I go, for example, to tile the view. You can uh, select a shortcut if you want. I prefer always to choose from the, the ribbon. Now I can, for example, adjust here the view just like the, the way that I want to see it. I can come here, for example, take this grip and adjust the view. I, if I want, for example, to go here and add like a, a graphic display options, I can make it smooth, apply. I can, for example, add, uh, if I want, I can add a silhouette uh, like white line and I can add also ambient shadow. Can see a little bit deeper here in the view and how it works like that. You can have, for example, if you want to have realistic, you can like we say, uh, like we uh, seen in our view, but there is important stuff. Bear in mind, here you don't have the scale in a perspective view, okay? This is the, the difference between orthographic and perspective view. You can have more uh, graphic display in the same like uh, orthographic, but you cannot have the, uh, the scale. I hope this video helped you to understand how it's work, the perspective view and orthographic view in a Revit. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate the notice and you will get the latest video of our five minute rivet.